So what we're going to make is just a box, a hot box, so it helps the epoxy cure quicker and stronger for higher temperatures. So if it accidentally gets left in the vehicle, the epoxy is a little bit stronger per the data sheet on the website for this EA40 epoxy that we're going to be using to make this boat. The Milwaukee circular saw there was one of the first tools I bought when I was 18. Fun fact. And I just thought gluing, as well as screwing it together, would be stronger, which it is. So that OSB soaks up so much glue. That's why I add a second layer on there. And in the long run, it's just going to make it stronger. Along with those corner blocks I put in, aids in the clamping. Those quick clamps are awesome. So putting blocks in inch and a half by inch and a half or two by two really increases the strength of your boxes dramatically. Putting it on the floor first lines everything up. And it's just easier to put together, stand it up. Clamp it, screw it. I use some shorter screws. I'll screw the box all the way around. You've got to be careful because that OSB is pretty thin. You can't over tighten it. And for a project like this, newspaper works fine, but a damp rag is the best for wiping up glue. Snap a chalk line. This is going to be the lid of our box. I just put the hinges in here just to get them in place. Just transfer the lines all the way around and then you get a nice accurate Let the saw stop for safety. Then you can see me here contemplating. I'm not sure how I'm going to attach the hinges. I didn't know if I wanted to screw them in from the inside or how I was going to do it because I wanted to leave a gap, I thought. So I tried to use a couple different spacers and then didn't need them. <laughs> and then just lay the box lid on top, leave the hinges flat. And it's good to put a rope in here and not just let it flop all the way open. So open it to 90 degrees, otherwise those hinges and the screws will just pull right out. Wiring can be easy if you understand that electricity needs to go in a circle. Once that brake stops, the flow of current stops. So that's why there's a switch there. That's why you're wiring a switch to stop that loop of electricity. So with these four lights, we need to make a loop. Wire all the whites together, the ground, which is bare, and the blacks. All right, let's plug it in and make sure there's nothing sparking. Oh! Uh-oh. Something's backwards. It's on the off and it turned on. I think I blew a breaker. Something's wired wrong. So what I did was is I ran two pigtails, a white and a black, off of this switch to our two legs here, thinking I was going to complete the circuit. So 
I messed up. Amateur hour. These golds should be the black part of the circuit right here. That's where it's going to make the break. And then the white just stays wired together. So I'm going to wire the two blacks onto here and we'll see if it's going to work. We're off. Now let's see if I wired this in right. What? Yep, that's it. <laughs> now I don't want to touch these. I'll get shocked bad. So I need to unplug this and then put it back in. This is a temperature disc. As soon as it reaches approximately 140 to 160, it'll cut the circuit, which is wired in back to the two black wires, and it'll turn the lights off. So it keeps it at a constant temperature. All right, our riser's been in the hot box for six hours. Our hot box is done. I put insulation inside the hot box. This foil lined bubble wrap basically. So it's been in here. Everything's hot. Everything feels good. I'm just going to turn the light off because it's 820 right now. I put it in at two o'clock. So six hours, 20 minutes. I'm just going to turn the light off. Let it sit here overnight. We'll just take it out in the morning because I'm not going to do anything more tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. Well, let's see how it did. There it is, done. That's all you gotta do, put it in a hot box. You get a three-piece takedown longbow. <laughs> Stick around for the rest of the series to see how you make and finish one of these bows. Shoot, sweet. <laughs> Keep surviving. Yes! <laughs> <laughs>